Good afternoon and welcome back to the One Celtic Fans View. There is absolutely loads of Celtic news kicking around this afternoon. Just as you thought it was going to be quiet into the week, the Celtic newsroom kicks into effect. First up, uh, before we talk about Dyson Maida, the breaking news for this afternoon is Dyson Maida looks set to return. Uh, we have some alleged confirmation, but it's not been set in stone as yet and won't be until tomorrow with the press conference by Brendan Rodgers. But has been leaked, has been leaked. Anyway, first of all, we need to talk about Benjamin Segrist. Benji Segrist is the player that has been at Celtic for a few seasons now, signed under the previous manager, Ange Postacoglu. His game time is basically nothing. There was a lot of people thinking that he would maybe leave Celtic. Uh, but Celtic did sign him for free, but it has been said this afternoon that Aberdeen are on the lookout at Benji Segrist. Should the Aberdeen goalkeeper not sign a new contract at Aberdeen. Should that set alarm bells ringing at Celtic? Will Celtic go for the Aberdeen goalkeeper? You know, let's face it, made some good saves against the Celtic. But um, Celtic have um, a few times went for goalkeepers that have been down the bottom of the SPFL, namely one Benjamin Segrist, who uh, got relegated with Dundee United. Would it be a good move to go for Aberdeen keeper if he didn't sign a contract with Aberdeen? If they do lose their keeper, it said that Aberdeen are now looking at Benjamin Segrist from Celtic. He's made only two appearances for Celtic in two seasons. So he is one player that was suggested that would leave the club this summer. And I did say that Celtic might be looking for two goalkeepers this summer. It looks as if that is coming to fruition. Celtic fans, tell me what you think in the comments. Next up, so Benjamin Segrist is obviously, uh, he's on his way at Celtic. Rod Stewart has become, Rod Stewart. The one that Celtic fans love and some love to hate, Rod Stewart, is... Um, he, do you really want to talk about this? Rod Stewart says that Celtic should be signing uh, a player. He is a massive fan of Dundee star Luke McGowan, and, and he said, Brendan Rodgers needs to move for him. I think we'll just pass on what Rod Stewart says. Um, but we have to get to the big news. And before we get to the big news, first of all, I want to talk about there's been leaked information this afternoon that Celtic have been interested in a striker. Now, they have been looking at the Transbordor striker, but they're looking for 15 million. Celtic seem to be getting linked with an awful lot of players at 15 million. Is there something about to happen this summer that we could never think of at Celtic? Will Celtic loosen the punch strikes and spend... 30, 40 million pounds on three or four players rather than the best part in 19 to 20 million on nine players. Will Celtic go out? They need to have a replacement goalkeeper. There's been speculation that we're going to spend upwards of nine million for a goalkeeper. We need a quality striker. We need a good quality striker that can score goals in Europe. This guy can, but they are looking for 15 up to 15 million euros for any interested club. Celtic have been scouting the player in question, but will Celtic spend that kind of money? They will if they sell Matt O'Reilly. If Celtic sell Matt O'Reilly for 25 million plus, they will spend 30 to 40 million this summer. They have to, it's as simple as that. If they have any ambitions as a club whatsoever, they need to go out and spend that kind of money. It is as simple as that. Will it be for a striker? Yes, I think that there will be a striker, but by Celtic, whether it's Adam Eder as the cheap option, or if we go down the, the route of a tried, tried and tested player that has played in European competition, which I hope that we do do, because that's really what we need. We found some success in the past when we went from French Eddie, when we went for French Eddie, he played European football, it's as simple as that, and he knew how to score in, in Europe. Um, so we need, a keep, we need a keeper, we know that, Joe Hart is retiring. We might need two goalkeepers. For me, I think young Toby should be brought back into the into the setup. He's been out alone this season, but I think he should be brought in as your number three goalkeeper. Your number three goalkeeper, as far as I'm concerned, at Celtic, should always be a player that's coming through the youth ranks. They have to be given that option to, to see the pathway into first-team football. And that pathway has to be then becoming third-choice goalkeeper at Celtic in the first team. That is the automatic choice for me. It's just my own personal opinion. Tell me yours in the comment section, as always. But I think um, any keeper that comes through the ranks of Celtic should be looking at being third-choice goalkeeper within a certain period of time. And then, obviously, if they can, is then moved to number two. 
It's as simple as that. It's just the way that I think that the club should be ran. And it gives the younger players hope, and especially the younger goalkeepers. Remember we went and thrown David Marshall in goals a long time ago. <coughs> Excuse me, a throw. <laughs> um, we threw David Marshall in goals, and he did not too bad. He did not too bad, especially like, against the Barcelona. Anyway, tell me your thoughts about that on the comments section. Now to the big news breaking this afternoon. It was rumoured yesterday, it was rumoured yesterday that Dyson Maida, it was all over social media last night, that Dyson Maida would be returning to Celtic. Well, how did this come about? People were saying it was due to dodgy WhatsApp messages, social media posts, but Brendan Rodgers indicated at a private gathering in Celtic Park. Yes, Brendan Rodgers was at a private gathering at Celtic Park with um, and attendees were people that have a vested interest in Celtic. Right? In other words, uh, shareholders, investors were in the one of the lounges and the stakeholders were able to talk to Brendan Rodgers and during the discourse of the evening, uh, late afternoon, actually, late afternoon, and people inquired about the fitness levels of Callum McGregor and the one and only Dyson Myra. Um, Rogers did take part in a QA and a for investors and the investors' lounge. It has been confirmed by two people in attendance. Rogers did say that Myra is back running already and could be back as early as next week. That is a rare win. That is a rare win for Celtic fans. When we've all seen that Dyson Maida came off in that absolutely traumatic game at Ibrox, and the fact that Dyson Maida scored so early on in that game, and we thought, yes, it's in the bag. And um, we thought, well, we're on to winner. Having Dyson back before the end of the season would absolutely be fantastic and frightening for the rest of the SPFL. It'll be absolutely fantastic if we can get them back in the next week, and um, especially with a game coming up at Celtic Park in a few weeks' time uh, when the Ibrox Club return to Celtic Park with no fans, and let's see how they can handle the cauldron that Celtic Park is in some parts <laughs> in some parts let's hope that they can make, make as much as noise and let's hope that Dyson can be back fit for the Glasgow Derby and the run in to the end of the season it is happy days Celtic fans the fact that the Japanese international looked um, when he sustained that hamstring injury in the 3-3 draw against the, the Rangers Sevco in disguise earlier this month we all thought that, that was it. You know, the way that we've had hamstring injuries hit our players this season, we thought, you know, will he be back? Will he be back at the end of the season? It looked unlikely. But the 26-year-old is expected to rejoin teammates next week. He is back and running, the manager has said, and it looks as if he could be back in training as early as Monday. Celtic have home games coming up against Hearts on uh, the May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. And... Saturday, May the 11th, with the final Glasgow Derby of the season. With only three points in the balance, that could be the day that we go on to basically cement the third league in a row. Three in a row, Brendan Rodgers will be the manager that holds up the Scottish League Championship at the end of May. as three in a row champions for Celtic. <sighs> It's all good, isn't it? It is all good. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. Do you think that uh, he should be rushed back or should we leave him a game? I think it will come back the way that a lot of players come back. Uh, but like Callum McGregor, he'll get that 30-minute run out. Um, now, they've checked on the scans. They've done the medical. You know, he is, he is going to return quicker than possible. Given his pace, given his pace in behind defenders, and getting cross balls in, but, which isn't the best. I mean, some, some cross balls for Dyson, you think. Holy shit. I hope the Chinese space station's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. What about to cause an international fucking uh, incident in space between the two space stations that float about up there? No, it's just, sorry, mate. Nope. No, it's fucking the Dyson. It's just a Dyson ball. It's cool. Anyway, move on for that. And Celtic are absolutely ecstatic, the fact. And I think he will be asked many a question tomorrow afternoon. Anyway, and breathe. Breathe. The fact that Benji Segrist has been at the club for a few years, I did say it looks like that Benji Segrist would leave this summer. And the reason that I thought that, could remember the deal back in December. He was in talks with Stum Gratz for over a month. 
and that deal broke down at the last minute. Um, I think Aberdeen would be a club well suited to him. Will he be the type of player that will come back and haunt Celtic next season if Aberdeen are still in the top flight? If they're not in the top flight, wait to see the, the reconstruction of the league if uh, Aberdeen were to accidentally, well, not go down, but in the playoffs and... If the worst was to happen, they were to go down. Anyway, that is my dub. Back. Happy days. Other Celtic news that's kicking around. Hey, Gustav Lager Belke. Bill's Lego in his spare time. Dreaming about when he can go and play football. Play for I do feel sorry for for Gustav. He was a player that I was looking forward to seeing at Celtic and and, and I thought, you know, Gustav Lager Belke. Lager, 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 Gustav, Lager, Lager, Gustav. Didn't work, did it? No, nah, I didn't at all. Just absolutely rank rotten, seemingly. But he did score the Champions League. Give him a break. He scored in the Champions League with a header. With a header. He scored in the Champions League with a header. Who was the last person to do that before Gustav Lagerbelke? Tell me that in the comments and we'll see you live tonight at 6.30 Celtic part time. Be there, be square. And that note, have a fantastic day, Celtic fans all around the world. <laughs>